Netflix's new anime movie tells the story of bubbles that rain down, cutting off Tokyo from the rest of the world. The city skyline becomes a playground for young people competing in parkour team battles. Hibiki plummets into the sea but is saved by a girl with mysterious powers. I watched the new Netflix anime film Bubble. Should you? Let's find out. How's it going, movie watchers? Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're gonna talk about the new Netflix anime film, Bubble. I was really looking forward to Bubble. I think the premise seemed very different from other anime films I have seen before. Within the first like 15 minutes of this film, we have some really thrilling parkour scenes. We have this parkour competition. We see a lot of fun action scenes in the beginning. But then once we settle down and we have a team that wins, we, we learn that Tokyo is cut off from the rest of the world. Gravity defying bubbles fell from the sky and closed off Tokyo from the rest of the world. We also see that Tokyo kind of started to fall apart and we see within those first like 15 minutes the destruction of the city and how the bubbles have affected people and how they are using the bubbles as a way to kind of jump on them for the parkour tournament. We have a Bicky who's very good at parkour. He's using the bubbles as an advantage and he is saved by this young girl named Uda who saves him as he falls into the sea. And they form this relationship along the way that becomes very endearing. The relationships between Hibiki and Uda allow for some emotional moments between the two as he is starting to kind of open up. As beginning of the movie, he's very closed off and he's very good at parkour. The team relies on him, but he doesn't really interact with a lot of the other characters in the film besides Uda. And that was when we start to learn a little more about his past and he's drawn to certain bubbles and the music as well. And I really liked how the two brought forth that more emotional scenes for the character and the personality comes out and he opens up and ends up being a really likable character. This is a kind of spin on the Little Mermaid as Uda sees uh, Hibiki as kind of like Prince Eric and they start to form this relationship that's a little bit different than kind of like your average relationship. Bubble is a amazing looking film. Within the first like 15, 20 minutes of the film, fastly paced, vibrant sequences that capture the bubbles and the destruction of the city in such a thrilling way. But once we kind of slow down from there, we get, we get very lavish sequences, the detail of the city, the designs for the characters are truly terrific. There's a lot of great talent in this movie from people who worked on Death Note and Attack on Titan. The score is beautiful as well. There's a lot of great pop songs as well that fit into this movie that make a lot of those parkour sequences fun to watch. And the score itself too is very calm and relaxing. That also benefits, that also helps certain sequences between Uda and Hibiki as they are exploring that relationship. So when it needs to be fast and upbeat, it's there, but when it needs to be slowed down, it's also really great. This is a quite simple story. There's a lot of narration in the beginning of the film when they describe what had happened to the city, but the movie relies on that relationship and there's a lot of parkour competition, but it's a simple story, uh, beginning to end kind of film. It doesn't rely heavily on its plot to make the film enjoyable. It relies on the relationships the animation, the music, the characters, all to make this a really fun film, despite a quite simple story of bubbles in a city and how they affect the city and they're closed off as well. Uh, so I didn't find the plot to be truly engaging. Uh, there are some added little things within the film, uh, other people within the city that are trying to prevent uh, some competitions from happening or when you learn a little more about the bubbles and some music as well those are things that kind of push the story a little bit but for the most part what this film relies on and what makes it enjoyable is those characters the animation the music the fun thrilling sequences like i said a really simple story that doesn't really dive deep into it everything else was rounded out very nicely to make this really fun film to watch so bubble uh not the most 
a captivating anime film I have seen, but the animation is beautiful. The score looks great. I loved how the city looked. The character designs were awesome. Hibiki and Uda had a relationship that was forming very nicely throughout. It overall just was a really entertaining film. Like I said, despite a really simple story, it didn't go far and didn't explore much of the bubbles. I wanted a little more of that, but what I did get was something worth watching. So before I give you my score for Bubble, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. And if you would like to see where Bubble ranks amongst all the other 2022 releases I have seen it this year, follow me on Letterboxd and you can find my ranking. I'm gonna go ahead and give Bubble a B minus. Thank you guys for checking review for Bubble, the new Netflix anime film. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.